Hi everyone, this is an Amalgia video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch, and today we're going to be talking about how to catch the giant isopod and the giant gigas clam. If you're new to diving, the first thing you need to do is get your hands on a wetsuit. Wetsuits can be bought with bells at the Nookling shop, and they can also be ordered with Nook Miles from the Nook Stop terminal. Just be aware that if you buy a wetsuit with Nook Miles, it will come the next day in the mail. So if you need one right away, it's better to buy the one in Tommy and Timmy's shop in the cabinet with bells. First up, let's talk about the giant isopod. It's available in the northern hemisphere between July and October, and in the southern hemisphere between January and April. Its active hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Here's a look at the giant isopod's northern hemisphere critterpedia page. And here's a look at its Southern Hemisphere Critterpedia page. Its active hours are blurred out because it's out of season for me, but they're the same as the Northern Hemisphere hours. It's usually easy to tell when you're dealing with a very rare diving creature because once you get near it, they'll start to move very, very quickly and shoot up streams of dust behind them, as you can see here. You swim a little bit faster above water than you do below water, and you can dive for about 10 seconds or so. Your character will let up a bubble right before you resurface to let you know that you're about to run out of air. There are three main ways to catch the fastest diving creatures. The first and probably the easiest way is to swim above them slowly without tapping A and get as close to them as you can. They will move away while you're doing this, but you should be able to inch up on them slowly. And then as soon as you're out of your diving delay, tap A very quickly to catch up on them before they can take off. Thanks to one of my viewers, Pat Pork, for letting me know that this works on the faster diving creatures. The other two ways to catch the fastest sea creatures are to push them towards a wall. They are programmed to stay a set distance away from the wall, so they won't get right up to it. But if you swim alongside them while they're trapped between you and the wall, they'll start to snake left and right a bit, and they'll lose ground if you swim after them. If for some reason the slow approach isn't working and you're having trouble, there is a way to get them to stop completely, and that is to chase them into a corner. As long as you're chasing them head on directly into a corner, they have nowhere to escape, and it can be an easy way to catch even the fastest sea creatures like I did this giant isopod. The other good news is that if you're chasing them and they start to get away from you, they actually won't despawn at any point. I mean, they may despawn if you go back on land or go into your home or something, but as long as you're chasing them and you're in the vicinity of them, they won't despawn while you're trying to catch them. Now, let's talk about the Gigas Giant Clam. The Gigas Giant Clam is available in the Northern Hemisphere from May through September, and in the Southern Hemisphere from November through March, and it's available all day long. Here's a look at its Northern Hemisphere Critterpedia page. And here's a look at its Southern Hemisphere Critterpedia page. The current active hours are all day long as well, but just doesn't show up because it's out of season for me. True to its name, the Gigas Giant Clam has a large shadow, and that's the easiest way to tell it apart from the giant isopod, as they both snake back and forth in a similar manner when you chase them. Another thing to keep in mind with the fast sea creatures is that trying to swim above the water and follow them and then dive directly on them is usually not a viable option because in the time that it takes you to dive, they'll usually have changed directions in a random direction if they're directly underneath you. Also, keep an eye on where the other sea creatures are so that while you're chasing the one you want, you don't accidentally swim into one you don't want like I did here. It helps the fast sea creature get away from you and then just lengthens your chase. Here it was able to do a full turnaround before I was able to pick up the chase again. If what you're looking for is going in the wrong direction, you can always swim away from it so that it's far enough away where it just stops and then circle around it to try to herd it back into the direction you want to the nearest corner. The more a sea creature snakes left and right underwater, the more of a chance you have to being able to just catch up to it by swimming and tapping A underwater, but you have to be very, very close to it in order for it to work. Here I got lucky and it decided to just rebound off of a wall before I had made it to a corner and right into my hands. The giant gigas clam is epically large and a sight to behold, and it really gives you that feeling of satisfaction for finally catching it. Don't forget that all sea creatures can be donated to the museum. If you're lucky enough to have multiples, the giant isopod sells for about 9,000 bells, if I remember correctly, and the giant gigas clam sells for 15,000. Anyway, I hope this video helped, and thanks for watching.